Now, police in Baltimore have been staging in different areas around the city. They have been preparing for this. Now the protesters have taken a right down Fayette Street. This is going to the front of police headquarters. When they tried to move into the street over by the uh, courthouse a short time ago, the police moved in in very uh, in a very big way and stopped them from moving onto the streets there. But now you can see that they've moved into traffic in front of police headquarters. They want to take this message not to City Hall, where they often do, but straight to police headquarters. Wolf. Miguel Marquez, uh, we'll get back to you, but I want to go to Brian Todd right now. He's also in Baltimore for us. Uh, Brian, where exactly are you and what are you seeing? Wolf, we're not far from City Hall, moving with the protesters as they move toward police headquarters. We're not sure if they're actually going to stop there or not. We thought they might file into War Memorial Plaza right in front of City Hall, but they made a turn here uh, down Fayette Street, and uh, we're not exactly sure where they're going. I would number them as several dozen protesters. You know, this is a critical moment for the city of Baltimore, Wolf. As everybody knows, for weeks now, city leaders have been saying that if you want to protest, that's fine, but we are determined to protect our businesses, protect our neighborhoods. The uh, mayor, Stephanie Rawlings-Blake, just a short time ago said, look, we are not going to be defined by what happened in April. So they are determined that if these marchers are going to uh, do what they're doing now, that they just had better, uh, you know, heed the police calls, go where there is room for them to go.